Hi and welcome to C++ tutorial of how to solve the investment problem. So let's come in here. I want to click on create new project and I'll select console application. Click on go and click on next. Then make sure C++ is selected or highlighted. So I'm just going to call it CPP investment. There we go and let's click on next next and that is it right in here you see where we have the source folder drop that down double click on main now the first thing that i'm going to do now is i'm going to declare some constant in here so let's get rid of this and just as a constant the data type is going to be double and i'm going to call that rate and this rate is going to be let's say about seven there and let's declare another constant again in fact we really need more than one constant okay so the next one is going to be known as initial balance underscore balance and that is going to be approximately 12,000 enter semicolon now the next one is going to be target and that is going to be 2 Multiply that by the initial balance. Grab that, paste that in here. Okay, now let's create another data type that is going to be for the balance. So come right down here. Another variable, so I'm going to call that balance. And let's say that very balance is equals to the initial balance grab that and just dump it here okay so I'm now going to declare one integer variable and I'll call that year the year is going to be zero okay so we have all our variables and so on in place so let's take care of let's use a while loop while balance less than target now we want this system to center coil brazy first we then see year plus plus data type we call that invest interest and that is going to be balance multiply that by rate And let's get it divided by 100 okay so balance in this case that is going to be cause balance and plus interest okay so let's get hold of the interest and just paste it right here there now let's come out of the loop and underneath here I'm going to say C out yeah let's speech mark the 
investment then we should say double doubled after shall we say one year or whatever so that would be double after maybe a year so let's change that that should be investment after year so we say year Yes. Enter backspace backspace there. Let and we just ask the system to return zero. Okay, let's just correct these few errors before I run it. There should be close the bracket there. There should be another one here. And right here I have okay look up here that is wrong okay and there should be a semicolon here as well and here one semicolon I don't know why I left this ones out okay let's try it now there we go so investment doubled after 11 years so let's come down here just enter a bit of space in there there just enter there we go and one other thing that we can change is look at the target or the rate we can change the rate let's say the rate is going to be about let's say nine I'm going to click on build and run and you should say it is now nine years supposing we change the targets let's make the target about five and build and run again there we go we have 19 years so it depends you see the target or the rate you can always use a c in or c out for those and here you can change that to whatever you want to change it to and let's say we talking about let's say the rate is going to be about four run there we go it's going to take 42 years and that's how you create your own investment checker in C++ so with that guys I'm going to call it the end of this tutorial and please do subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a channel member you all have a nice day now and bye for now